see rich people. I know of a rich man I met. He's of late. This rich man is a Bamileke man. Listen carefully. Sit down. I met him in his house. By then I used to go from house to house preaching the gospel. That's 24 years ago. I met him in his house. This man, in fact, hear this story. He was looking for what they call somebody who could see and solve that problem he had. Which doctors had failed him? His own men of God had failed him. These are people who give tithe in the church. 25 million, 50 million tithe. I met him with sad. I sat in his parlor. He came down with sad. By then I was a young boy. You know, I'm, you know now I'm an old man. I you know see my hairs in my chin. I'm an old man now. By then I had just a few hairs under my chin. When I'm touching one, two, I'm happy. I told him, I said, Papa, accept Jesus. This man of only told me, he said, Ah, son. I just want you to solve my problem. Don't be telling me about accept Jesus. He said, I should solve his problem. He was going to open me an account in NFC Bank the next day. And he would put me money inside. He said, he learned, I want to build a church coming up. And he learned. He's in his grave now, sleeping there. We will see on that day when the trumpet shall be sounded. He denied to accept Jesus and told me, let me go and think. Who should think? Who needs who? He needed me. Let me go and think. If I abide to the condition, then he will open an account for me the next day in NFC Bank and fill my account with money. Not money. There's a difference between money and money. When a man talks, say, that man get money. When the year does say, that man get money. Money, money. Like when I hear when I get money. When I not get money, but today God will give you money. <laughs> Sit down. So at the end of the day, I did not go. That ended the story. He sent what I did not go. And the Lord told me his hands were what? Dirty. Run away from what you know God is not happy with. And stick to what you know God is happy. Don't say, oh, I'll remember poor, I'll die poor. Look, as a child of God, you will never die poor. Poverty will never be your portion from today. May all doors that are closed be opened today in the name of Jesus. I pray may satanic altars be broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Be seated. Yes. Please run to God and do not be like Gehazi. Gehazi was a stupid servant. Do not be like Gehazi. Do not be like who? Gehazi. And stop grumbling. Don't grumble like who? Neman. Neman grumbled. He wanted a great prophet to come out, welcome him, talk to him as if he's God. Hmm? No. Hmm. Sometimes when you call me on phone, those of you who have called me on phone, when you see, when you call me on phone, I will just tell you, go straight to the point. Do you know why? I'm not interested in your introduction. Because even if you tell me today, you are minister this, tomorrow you will not be minister that. True or false? It's true. It's true. Yes. So there's nothing for me to be happy that this man has called me, this man has called me. No. Just tell me, man of God, I'm calling for prayers. I'm even happy when you come here and I don't know who you are. God locates who you are. Tell the prophet, uh, doctor, this wants to see him. They the first and the biggest doctor who existed before you was Dr. Mark. Mark was a great physician. Luke was a great physician. These are doctors who existed in the Bible. So, we today, sometimes we, we want that honor from man. Look, if I start honoring you, you will miss heaven. I say, you will do what? You will miss heaven. In a house where God lives, Everyone should consider himself a child of God. Hmm? You are a child of God. 
And I pray heaven at last will be your portion. Whether you are rich or you are poor, tell yourself equal to the person next to you who is poor. Stop judging others, concluding and say, oh, I am this, they are not that. No. Money is not eternity. Instead, money without Jesus is a poison to your flesh. But when you have Jesus and you lack, the comfort from Jesus will give you a lot of what? Comfort. I pray you have Jesus first before money. That's my prayer. You may have your seat. I pray you have what? Jesus first before what? Money. And anybody here who is praying for money first before Jesus, I cancel it. I block it. I do what? I block it. Me. Me. Elijah's twin brother. I block it. If you are praying for money before Jesus, eh? I say what? Eh? If I see the money coming, I will take Okada, block it before you reach your house. I pray you have Jesus before what? Money. Because if you have Jesus before money, you will not depart from his ways. Yes. But if money come before Jesus, hey, even Jesus will call you uncle. Today, those who are ready for Jesus before money, rise up. Say, my father, my father. My father. I have seen I have learned a lesson from the book of 2 Kings chapter 5. The story of Elisha, Gehazi, and Naaman. Oh Lord, bless me. Let me not copy the spirit of grumbling from Naaman. Let me not copy the spirit of love of money from Gehazi. Let me not copy the spirit of having love for material things from Gehazi. Say, oh Lord, connect me to the blessing of Elisha. Say, as I pray, as my prophet, prophet Didi Alu, will pray for me now, as he will touch my head. Let the blessings of Elisha fall on me. Clap your hands and pray. Begin to pray, 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 begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Anyone here who is under a curse from the generation of Neman that crossed to Gehazi, if someone in your family is under a spell, like the spell that prophet Elisha became angry and transferred the curse from Neman to Gehazi, I pray may that curse be broken today. I pray may that curse be broken today. I pray may that curse be broken today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now we are going to pray one prayer. And tell God. May the blessings of Elisha. Follow your generation forever. Clap your hands and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Whatever chain the devil may have used to connect your family to any spell, it is broken. It is broken. That spirit that has come to cause pain in your life, I command that spirit to go in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to go in the name of Jesus. Any altar tormenting your family today, I torment that altar with fire in the name of Jesus. I torment that altar with fire in the name of Jesus. That amen is too small. 
Be seated, be seated, be seated. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Let every closed door be open because you are here today. Shout a better amen. Shout a better amen. Be seated, be seated. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I pray. May the curse from Gehazi not follow you. And I pray, may the spirit of grumbling in Neman not be your portion. Yes, grumbling. Even though we know when you grumble, you stay now. Oh, do you grumble and explode? Huh? Mama said, give me your money. Mama said, give me your money. When you grumble, you must still go find things cook now. So there's no need to grumble. But I pray, your master to go change. Uh -huh. You want to for not to get your money now for waiting. Come back so you give fufu. How did fufu trunk so? How you know what trunk? <laughs> you know, some way you cook chop for fire side. It is trunk trunk, eh? Chop a gas cooker, just today, as the Bible rightly said, that the body, the flesh of Neman became like that of a newborn baby. See, you know, say from your hand. They didn't know how you don't suffer now. Hmm? Tell the devil, after today, my palms, my flesh, fresh, soft, claim it, claim it, claim it. Yes, sit down. 